One minute to answer. Ngayon, one minute. Oo, yes. Babanggitin namin kung magsisimula na ang iyong oras. Nakakakabal yung tugtog ni DJ. Parang any moment, bubuka ang lupa. And this is... <laughs> And this is your question. Given a chance to break one rule or law of our government, what rule or law will you break and why? And your timer starts from now. Thank you so much for this very interesting question. If there will be a chance for me to, to break or to violate one rule in this government of, country, of our country, That will be to store all the money of those corrupt people, those corrupt politicians who up until now who are getting the money of all our Filipinos. I think according to article section, according to our Philippines institutions 1987, article 2 section 4, that the main prime duty of our government is to support and protect the people. And I want to, to break that rule, to stall the money of this politician. And number two, I want to approve the marijuana. As a person who's coming from medical field, I have a niece who have epilepsy. I want to legalize the, this marijuana so that we can, we can save a lot of lives of the future generations. Because my, cause my, uh, my, my mission is to prolong the life of all humans. That is the simplest and direct answer coming from my noble heart. Thank you so much, candidate number 10, just in time. Ayan, thank you. I make Q&A now. Your question is, you have one minute to answer the question. Huh? What is the essence of joining this kind of pageant? And what sacrifice you have done by joining pageant? Again, what is the essence of joining this kind of pageant? And what sacrifice you have done by joining this kind of pageant? Okay. And your, your timer, timer starts now. The essence of this pageant is for us queens to be able to share our advocacy to everyone. Especially me, I am advocating for cancer awareness because of what happened to my dad. And totoo po yun, walang halong keme. I hope that this platform will, will serve us to actually... Uh, We uh, give information to everyone. And the only sacrifice that I did in joining this kind of pageant is my peace of mind. Dahil palibalik na rin man natin ang mundo, maraming masasabi ang tao sa atin. Nawawala na po ang peace of mind ko because of joining pageantry. But this is what I want. And this is the reason why I am here tonight. Para iuwi ang corona. Salamat. Thank you so much, Miss Yuki. Ito. And this is your question. What do you think is the best thing to do as a member of LGBTQ community to pass the social bill? Again, what do you think is the best thing to do as a member of LGBTQ community to pass the SOGI bill. And your timer starts now. Wow. Thank you very much. Marahil ang unang-unang gagawin ko po, ayun po, ay ang alisin ko ang diskriminasyon na nagmumula sa ating 
LGBT community. Bakit? Bakit po hindi napapasa ang Soji Bill? Simply lamang po, dahil mismo tayo mga LGBT community ay naghihilahan pababa, nagpapataasan ng ihe. Sino po bang tao ang susuporta sa alam nila na community na pare-parehas silang sumasablay? Hindi po sila nagtutulungan bawat miyembro. Lagi po natin tatandaan bago nila tayo tanggapin, bago tayo nila respetuhin, tayo po muna ang unang-unang re-respeto at tatanggap sa atin. Dahil sabi nga nila, kung anong ginawa mo sa sarili mo, ayun ay para sa'yo. Pero kung ano ang ginagawa mo sa ibang tao, ito ay mananatili. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Candidate number 8. Ayan, so pili ka na. Bumuli ka na na iyong question. Good luck, Miss Yang. And this is your question. What steps or measures need to be taken to promote equality? Again, what steps or measures need to be taken to promote equality? And your timer starts now. Let me go directly. Ladies and gentlemen, the steps that we need to take in order to promote equality is to protect those people who are marginalized by the law itself. Yes, specifically the law would state that we are protected in every single aspect as human beings, as Filipinos. However, if you would go into deeper of the lives of the LGBT members, we lack everything equality and even equity so if the government would recognize this sector of the lgbt in the part of the philippine constitution then definitely we would promote equality in all aspects of every single individual in general may you be part of the lgbt or may you be a straight person you will be protected and you will not be afraid to do anything and everything under the sun here in the philippines because you know that you are protected by the Philippine Constitution and by the Philippine government itself. So thank you so much. Thank right. you so much. I'm going to repeat the question twice. All right. Your question is: If you need a chance to discuss a social problem that LGBT community is facing right now, who would you want to talk about this? Again, if you need a chance to discuss a social problem that LGBT community is facing right now, who would you want to talk about this? And your timer starts now. now. I would like to reach out to the Department of Health to talk about depression. Me being part of the LGBTQIA plus community, I faced a lot of cyberbullying online just because I'm not perfect or I'm not good enough. For some of you who are watching live right now, who are constantly criticizing us just because we are public figure. And I guess that it is very important for us to be kind because we don't know what every one of us is going through. So, my only advice is for us to be kind and to treat everyone with love. Because love is the first thing that we learned here on Earth. So, I hope that the Department of Health could help us in solving depression among the LGBTQIA plus community. Alright, time stop. Thank you so much. Again, 
What three important advice would you like to advise to a young transgender? And your the timer starts now. Thank you so much. The first advice would be to love yourself. Because at the end of the day, there is nothing wrong with you. Many people who marginalize and discriminate you, but there is nothing wrong with you because you are an impeccable creation of God. The second one is to have a strong backbone. Dahil marami kang makakaaway sa pinili mong buhay. Maraming kukutsa at diskrimina sa'yo, pero lagi mong tatandaan na tatagan lamang ang loob mo. At ang ikatlo ay magpatawad. Patawarin mo yung mga taong nangungutsa at nangdidiskrimina sa'yo. Dahil di nila alam na yung baklang tinatawanan nila sa pangumagahan ngayong gabi. Pinapalakpakan nila. And that is the very main reason why we join beauty pageants to show to everyone that we are confidently beautiful. We are super califragilistic, expialitocious individuals. And at the end of the day, we are all created by God. We are all human beings worthy of love and respect. Nakalbong salamat, magandang gabi at magandang umat. Thank you so much. Yes. Candidate number 16. Answer the question. And I'm going to repeat the question twice. All right. Your question is How different? Would the world be if transgender were able to rule the world? Again, how different would the world would be if transgender people were able to rule the world? And your timer starts now. Allow me to say first that if the man will be ruling the world, they will be able to have a strong hand. If the woman will be ruling the world, they are going to use their heart in order to govern people. And we trans women, we're going to be able to make the world different by simply combining two different abilities of a man and a woman. Because that is who we are. We are a combination of man and woman combined as one for us to be able to govern this world, a better place for each of us to live in. And all of the skills and abilities of man are the things that we are going to use in order for us to be able to serve every single human being to the best that we can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Candidate number 19. Twice. Alright, your question is, which for you is more important? Love, happiness, or time? Again, which for you is more important? Love, happiness, or time? And your timer starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, direct to the point, I believe the most important is love because love is a powerful force that can Love is a powerful force that can overcome any obstacle and challenges in this world. When people come together with shared purpose and this say, um, and genuine desire, then we, to, to support and uplift one another, then we will have a better place to live in. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we can unify the whole community with full of love, understanding, and respect. Direct to the point, walang halong palabo. Kalmado lang, hindi galit. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much. Bakit? <laughs> and this is your question. <laughs> what will you do if the only man who can make you laugh is the one who made you cry? Again, what will you do if the only man who can make you laugh is the one who made you cry? And your timer starts now. Alright, maraming salamat sa katanungan. Hayaan yung sagutin ko to ng direkta sa Tagalog. Ano nga bang gagawin ko kung ang lalaking kaya akong patawanin ay kaya din akong paiyakin? Well, definitely I will accept the man with whole my heart. Dahil naniniwala ako na hindi na hindi basihan kung kaya kang patawanin o paiyakin ng isang lalaki o ng iyong karelasyon. Dahil ang kasiyahan at ang kaiyakan ay parte ng relasyon. Kailangan mo lang itong tanggapin ng buo. Kailangan mo tanggapin ang kanyang plus. Kailangan mo tanggapin
natin na parehas kayong imperfect. Kaya naniniwala ako na kung ang taong kaya kang patawanin at kaya kang paiyakin at the same time, kailangan mo lang tanggapin na buo dahil ikaw din mismo, kaya mo rin paiyakin at patawanin ang taong minamahal mo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Okay. You only have one minute and I'm going to repeat the question twice. Alright? <laughs> All right, your question is If you're given a chance to become one of the judge tonight, who do you think should win except from you? And who do you think should not? Again, if you're given a chance to become one of the judge tonight, who do you think should win except from you? And who do you think should not? And your the timer, timer starts, starts now. now. Nothing personal. Who do you, I think, should not win is candidate number 10. Yung Hakot Award. Siyempre, naranasan niya ng kanina kung paano mag-rank 1. At kung sino ang hindi dapat ang, sino naman ang pwedeng manalo para sa akin si Yuki pa din. It's because napaka-totoo, authentic, and everything that we have. But most of all, this is a remorse feeling of everybody that behind those things, it's not a matter of what the judges have to say you that will shape you in your daily life. It's on or off the stage how you will be able to experience life. Remember, winning and losing is a win-win situation. Beauty pageant is an experience. What matters most, if candidate number 10 will pursue in life and the candidate number 5 will pursue in life good, then definitely. I am a judge who just judged them during that night according to their performance subjectively and objectively. Beautiful. All of us. Thank you. Thank you so much.